Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and it is time yet again for another Epic Universe update. Thank you so much to everyone who supported the last one for my biggest video ever on the channel. So that is incredible. Thank you so much again. And thank you so much to the incredible Bio Reconstruct who continues to fly around Orlando area with these Florida theme parks and give us some great overhead shots of these new lands and new theme parks under construction. You can see from the last update already, just in this overview image that Epic Universe has grown considerably in the last two weeks. And yeah, let me go land by land in the hub area and see uh, what has you know commenced. Even the hotel, which we're gonna start off with, has commenced as well and has grown past its initial floor. So let's actually get started with that right now. Yes, the hub hotel has finally started to see some growth as I expected as some of those other lands were finishing up Cruise will probably move over to the hotel and really focus on that. It is still going a little bit slowly, but it's starting to work on its second level. You can certainly see it extensively, extensively now, about half that second level is in. And even a parking garage, that's right, a parking garage is being constructed. It looks like about three stories so far, just over to the north side of the, on the back side of the Inn Park Hotel for arriving guests, of course. So that's good to see some nice progress on that hotel. And moving on to the offside hotels, the Star, the Terra Luna, and the Star Stella Nova hotels, those are making rapid progress. The Terra Luna or Stella Nova, whichever one is completed, one of them is completed, and its twin is starting to get foundation work. You can see those two white squares in the ground as they about, uh, as they do the. the as they do those foundations and figure out those elevator cores, yeah, you can see the clear shape. It's the opposite, literally, it's the same hotel, just flipped around, so it makes a really cool kind of like entrance gate. Then you see that, that I believe is Kirkman Road, and then there's lobby bus lanes right in the middle in the median of that. And then Kirkman Road will be extended into the dirt lot, which will be is Epic Universe, in the top of the picture right over there. Moving back into Epic Universe, we'll start off with the largest land an acreage wise of the new park, the How to Train a Dragon, Isle of Burke area. And this is have some major updates in terms of the statues and see one of them is painted, which is awesome. Looks really cool, that gold and blue color. And even the bridge is now fully formed and it's looking real nice as you're gonna cross over that bridge over the lake into the Isle of Burke. And yes, the coaster will be swooping by you as you do welcoming you in along with the statues and the boats into this very colorful fanciful land and will open just in time with the how to train your dragon live action movie this area is looking fantastic and has seen plenty of progress since the last couple of weeks especially on some auxiliary areas such as the great hall restaurant being covered up and the theater Let's take a look at that Great Hall restaurant real quickly. It's all covered up and you can see um, has the the whole thing's basically all done on the e exterior. Now they're just gonna work on the interior and of course they'll do be theming the exterior a lot more. But the foundations and all the concrete walls, the initial, the hardcore stuff, the structural foundations are all done there. Take a look over at the roller coaster as it swoops down towards the lake area. You can see that rock work on the wall is still continuing to come on in and different features throughout the lake and water features that you may or may not see and different theming elements such as boats are under construction in this very wonderful lake area. Moving on to the theater, the theater is, the show building is almost complete. The pre-show area is done and the main theater area is almost done as well, almost fully enclosed. As you can see, the seating area is just about done and the stage is being worked on right now. Moving on towards kind of the center of the land, just above the Great Hall restaurant, you can see a real good look at the roller coaster. Um, you can see the station is lots of love, lots of working, that double loading station. The maintenance bay is fully complete now with even some tracks going inside and out of it. There's actually another shipping, uh, track shipping from Intamin for this project, P903, that is getting delivered to the site. 15 more track pieces that are on its way as of just May 4th. So, which is see some more, probably not the main track, but probably auxiliary pieces like maintenance stuff um, 
arriving to the site pretty shortly. And yeah, I can't wait to see this theming on the coaster, the rock work and the waterfalls. It should look absolutely gorgeous. Moving over to the hub now, we see lots of progress on this rumored carousel spinning attraction here. The infrastructure is all ready to go, but you can see the foundations for the last structure that will be enclosing this building have been laid. And even some of the ports for that glass structure have been put in or are coming to put in very, very soon, which is cool. It'll be really cool to see this structure being built and under construction. The next update, there should be a lot of them, at least a couple of them in because, you know, they just kind of kind of plop them in, which is great. Looking at the fountain, the fountain's been mostly complete, or at least in this incarnation, for a while now. They'll probably, they probably installed all the infrastructure already. They just kind of install like there's amphitheater type seating. And then the fountain area will be pretty much done. Moving on to Super Nintendo World, you can see here's the update on the warp pipe area with the escalator infrastructure being built in there. You can see the support structure for the eventual warp pipe um, is going in right now. And that will cover the escalator and will make you immersed into the land as you go from Epic Universe to the warp pipe and into Beach's Castle. Looking at a straight down shot of the Mushroom Kingdom area, lots of minor details have been worked on again the main foundations and everything are already in a lot of the minor details like the games and the pathways and benches and stuff like that are being installed now on that multi-level land and shifting over to donkey kong which will be accessed through a warp pipe only in the mushroom kingdom see a lot more open space here but that's because most of the area is occupied by a roller coaster, most of the area will be outdoors and not multi level. There'll be some additional games in here, and it'll be a very jungle temple type uh, theming and setting. You can even see here in the lift hill that the it's being hidden a little bit as the more those theming elements start to pop on in. And this will be a very cool coaster, a very cool land. Not sure if it's gonna come to Hollywood due to the capacity issues, and you can watch my video on that right on the top right corner but it's certainly coming to epic universe so you'll have somewhere in the united states to ride the donkey Kong coaster checking in on the the main roller coaster of the park star fall racers more progress on the station has been revealed the the launch section will actually be below the main station so you can see right now the final break runs of the two roller coasters as they come right back into the station which is that giant concrete building and again it's a two-story concrete building because as you can see You'll be going down a small turn under where you just boarded and launching to probably what 70 something miles per hour to get over those massive top top hats right there. So yeah, really main work on the station. Nothing more or no more track on the supports or anything and no more supports um, as of yet. So maybe on the next update, but it's really cool to see the station being worked on and the final brake runs installed and catwalks you can see have been installed as well. Looking at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Parisian area. Um, again, this area is very tight. You can see a lot of show buildings, the largest show building in the park, which is for that Ministry of Magic E to get a try. And then that'll be taking place in the British Ministry of Magic. <laughs> and then we're going to the Parisian area, the Fantastic Beasts area, uh, where there are rumored to be magical creatures in the windows. You can see, again, very tight Diagon Alley style walkways here. And the Arc de Triomphe, right? next to the portal where you'll be entering this land that big building to the left of the portal is rumored to be a general risen world gift shop where you can get not just um not just fantastic beast merchandise but merchandise from all of the wizarding world areas so like you know harry potter you know gryffindor just the typical harry potter merch that you see elsewhere at the theme parks that's not particularly in theme for this particular land same thing with the Nintendo store. That's rumored to be in the um, outside in the main hub, which is kind of general Nintendo store. Um, same thing here with this Wizarding World here. Moving on to the uh, closer look inside the Wizarding World, and you can see you can see the facades, the facades for that second attraction that rumored that canceled Harry Potter broomstick thing in his attraction. The facades are still being built for a future attraction, future expansion down the line. But that way you'll, the you know, won't, the land won't, won't just look empty. Have those facades there, it'll look more still complete. And then there'll be some shops and restaurants as well as a gift shop and restrooms, I believe. Just no entrance to any attraction. 
and our last shot of the wizarding world here i just think this is a real good shot from bio because i mean you can really see the the detail work that it takes to make these roofs like the way they looks just like out of paris like there's a lot of detail work going into that these roofs here a lot of scaffolding a lot of work this is certainly the most detailed land of the um of the four i believe because it's just so intric intricate you know those whizzing world lands there's a lot to bring, a lot, it takes a lot to bring them to life so i just got this look how much amazing detail work this is absolutely incredible cannot wait to visit this land and can't wait to see the final product last but not least let's check out dark universe the classic monsters area of epic universe and it's looking fantastic looking at this overview of the whole site you can see the large show building for the um classic monsters frankenstein attraction you see the village area some of the roller coaster and some of the restaurants as well so let's dive a little bit deeper look right into the entrance portal which will be very kind of european-y with the you know 1920s european style it's getting a lot of work done on it each uh portal will be a different theme and of course this will be very creepy and spooky and european type themes going on a lot of work going on it's been a lot of work has been going on it for a while now so excited to see this finally revealed moving inside land you can see a lot of scaffolding still on the theming for the show building for the classic the e main e-ticket attraction there um, not too much different from the last couple of weeks actually they're just still really working on those details and heavy scaffolding is still on the front of the attraction the village is looking a little bit different though looking more complete with the roofs um, all done and just a lot of scaffolding on the theming for the sides of the building so we'll have some restaurants and gift shops here the main restaurant and gift shop around here and it'll be a nice little entrance statement and exit, exit, exit statement for the land as well the roller coaster is uh, again just about complete. The track work and the barn structure have been complete for a while. The barn has not been, um, no update hasn't changed since the last time. It still has that black sheeting on it, and there's no real theming elements to the track. But there should be lots of trees and you know queue walkways and things obscuring lots of the track when it's all set and done. And that's gonna do it for this week's epic universe update again thank you to bio reconstruct for the amazing aerial photos thank you to all of you for watching if you like these epic universe updates please subscribe to the channel for more of them well, they come out every couple of weeks or so and in the meantime i'll do some universal studios hollywood updates for you here at home in los angeles if you like this video definitely subscribe to the channel as well and share it so all your friends know what's happening out in florida as well um, if you like, um, go ahead and have epic day.